White Ribbon is the new film by Michael Haneke, and it was the winner of the Golden Palm, the top award at the Cannes Film Festival this year. I think a very popular choice for that award. Haneke, for the first time in a while, returns to, well, he's actually Austrian, but he returns to Germany and to the German language to make a film about a village on the eve of World War I. And suddenly a number of incidents begin happening in this village. Uh, someone is knocked off a horse while they're riding it. There are other incidents of people being hurt somewhat unexpectedly and by unknown forces. And suspicion begins to sort of generate that it's some kind of movement of the local children against the local adults. And because of that, all kinds of measures are put into place to survey the children, to make sure that they're towing the line, doing what they're supposed to. Of course, Haneke uses this incident as a kind of study for the origins of fascism, the origins of how was it that just a few years later, the film is set about 1913, 1914, these young people would be those adults who would accept Adolf Hitler and the Nazi regime. Now, this is it, and this is land. I chose this period in this country because I think that it uh, offers the most prominent horror of uh, extremism of any uh, kind. That said, however, I think that it would be an error to uh, take, uh, to reduce the film rather, to this specific period and to this specific country. I think that the Germans should see this film as a film about Germany. However, I think in other countries people should see the film as uh, something about their own countries. So in a way it's a film about how certain kinds of attitudes, certain kinds of behavior, certain kinds of social acceptances come to the fore and create a generation. And at the end you sort of feel that you've just seen the beginning of what Germany was going to become.